Hey guys, in this video we will work on the enemy player to make it uh, 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 run towards its waypoint when it has uh, detected the enemy player or is aware of its presence. Okay, so uh, to get started let's make a new C Sharp script in the NPC folder and let's call this enemy uh, state. And let's open it up. There we go. Let's uh, close down what we have open. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do it the same way as we did for the enemy pl uh, the player states. We're going to create the uh, enums inside the enemy state class. So let's make a public enum. Um, let's call this E mode. Uh, not to confuse with E mode, but E mode. And we will have two uh, states to start off. To start off. Uh, we're going to use the uh, aware and unaware. Unaware. Okay. Okay, now let's make a new um, uh, void um, uh, start. We're probably going to use it. And also make a current mode, which we are currently in. So let's make a, a e mode um, mode. And uh, by default, we're going to set the mode to uh, unaware. So we're going to be walking when we are unaware and we're going to be running when we are aware. Okay, now let's make um, a method when we change the mode from, uh, when we change the mode to something else, so we can subscribe to an event that the mode has changed. So let's first make a delegate here so it's going to make the uh, pub or the event sorry public event uh, system action and we're going to add the uh, mode we are changing into on mode changed um, maybe one little explanation we are using this uh, delegate here you could make your own uh, delegate if you want uh, but uh, it's really preferred to use uh, the system action here because you can add way more uh, as you can see uh, generic types in here as a callback but if you want to change it to something else something to specific uh, something specific you could make your own delegate like this uh, public uh, delegate uh, whatever you want to return so maybe uh, emote in this case on mode uh, changed uh, delegate name it uh, something like this so now we have our own delegate and then we could say uh, public event will return the on mode change delegate yeah so then it will also this will this is exactly the same as we written with the system action uh, so now you can return your own type so if you have a different class or something you can also uh, insert, uh, create it here but I'm going to use the uh, system action. It's really more, uh, it's really preferred. Okay, on mode changed. Uh, when we switch the mode, let's make the uh, uh, public uh, void change mode. And we're going to say emote mode. And then we, of course, going to check if the mode isn't the same as the currently assigned. Uh, so let's call this a uh, new mode. No, I'm going to change this back to mode and let's call this uh, current mode. And this is current mode. So then we're going to check if the current mode is the same as the mode we are assigning. If mode not equals current mode, maybe if that equals current mode, we're just going to return. Otherwise, we're going to uh, set the mode to the new mode current mode equals to mode and uh, let's check if the uh, on mode changed is assigned and then raise the event with the new mode we are giving it yeah so now we now have the ability to change the state uh, by a public method um, and then we raise the uh, raise and can raise an event so let's open up the enemy uh, player, I think. We have the on target selected here. Um, 
not really sure where we are going to change the um, the the state right now but um, let's first make a reference to our enemy state here so we can use it from our other scripts as well so let's uh, copy over this uh, part it will be a little bit faster and let's call this enemy mode uh, sorry enemy state and let's copy over everything we need to copy over um, uh, oh yeah sorry got a little too uh, eager with copying okay so now we have an enemy state here so, but uh, because we want to use it we're gonna also make sure that we have the uh, component enemy state and then we're gonna say in our um, start method enemy state on mode changed and then we're gonna add the uh, uh, mode state whatever and now we have access to the uh, to the state uh, let's see what we're gonna I'm not really sure if we're gonna use it here uh, but still we uh, we have it uh, let's also open up the animation not the player animation sorry but the enemy animation and we're gonna do exactly the same or pretty much the same let's get a reference to our uh, enemy player uh, from the enemy animation So the enemy animation will require the uh, enemy player, and then we're gonna say uh, enemy player equals to get component enemy player. Not being very consistent here, but just gonna do it like this. Uh, of course, we need reference uh, enemy player player now also we're going to change the on target selected of the enemy player and then we're going to say um, hmm this is really necessary because we want to change the is walking when we are changing the um, when we are changing the mode so let's say um, enemy player enemy state if that equals to uh, enemy state emote uh, aware hmm. uh, current mode or oh yeah we don't have it uh, public so let's make this um, um, Let's go to the enemy state. We don't have this uh, method. Uh, I'm sorry, this current mode uh, public. So let's make this. Let's mark this uh, uh, public, so we have access to it. Make sure you change the names around. Shift Alt F10 to refactor it automatically. Uh, back to enemy animation. So then we can say in enemy state, the current mode. If that equals to where we're gonna be, this is gonna be true. So then, then it will be walking. Otherwise, it will be false. So then we will be running. So we don't need the, uh, we didn't even need this on target selected here. So uh, we can get rid of this, uh, but we're gonna keep the enemy player reference. Now back in our enemy player, we need to change the speed uh, when we change the state. So uh, when we change state, we're gonna check uh, what state we are in. Uh, if state, uh, equals to uh, maybe aware we're gonna say uh, agent speed equals to uh, run speed and uh, instead of making an if statement here for the unaware state we're always gonna set it to walk here whatever we we get a mod changed but if the state uh, turns to aware we're gonna set it to run speed Okay, so now if we are going to uh, run this, we're gonna see that the uh, animation will change 
when we switch from unaware to aware it will go to the run animation but still move uh, very slowly that's because we are waiting uh, for the event in the enemy player to occur uh, but the event isn't uh, isn't being uh, set right now so to change that let's um, make a get a set here for this method of for this property and let's say uh, get and set and what we're gonna do uh, like we did before uh, uh, in an early uh, movie we're gonna we're gonna uh, return the uh, current value here and when we set it we're gonna change it here like we did so um, let's check if the uh, let's see if the current mode so if the uh, current mode equals to value which is value is whatever is assigned when we are setting it if this is the same we're gonna say uh, return because it hasn't changed and otherwise we're gonna say here um, change mode uh, to the value um, is this wise to do? Uh, no, this is not because we will get a never-ending loop here. So we are not going to use this method here. We're just gonna copy this part, remove this, and here we're gonna say uh, m current mode equals to value, and then we're gonna say we're gonna check for the mode changed and then raise the event. It's only on the on the setter and the getter of it yeah so let's see what happens if we run this now so we are unaware it's it's currently running so it seems ah uh, yeah because we now have no we have made the uh, the method uh, with a getter and a setter this way we cannot change it here in the inspector so what we're gonna do we make uh, void uh, change uh, test whatever you want to call it and then we're gonna say here um, something like command at uh, component menu now we did this before but I can't really remember um, context menu that's it then we're gonna say um, set aware set to aware and then we're gonna say current mode equals to aware copy this over set unaware yeah so let's see what happens now uh, if we hit play gonna say set aware mm, not really doing anything I want this uh, worked so I'm setting it to unaware then it will start work walking and we'll say there we go so it now switches to running now it's probably it's waiting for its next uh, waypoint I hope hmm you shouldn't be waiting this long. Oh yeah, stupid of me! It's, it's looking at my uh, at my player, but I disabled the shooting, so it won't uh, won't start shooting. So let's uh, let let's get rid of the enemy player here a little bit. Let's move it uh, out of the view, so it won't get detected by the uh, by the player. Let's uh, first when we are uh, awaking. We're gonna say the uh, current mode equals to uh, unaware. So now the enemy player is uh, walking. Now let's pretend it's gonna detect us here and it will start running. So now we have the ability to change the enemy state to uh, aware and unaware whenever we want by just uh, setting the current mode. 
Okay, let's um, get rid of this and let's call this video uh, to an end. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.